In this video, we are going to discuss about frequencies shifting property in Fourier transforms. So, this property states that, so here if you multiplied any other frequency for your signal, then what will be the transform of that resultant signal. So, here for example, I want to consider any signal f of t like this. So, for this f, f of t Fourier transform is f of omega then frequency shifting property states that frequency shifting property states that if you multiplied any other frequency j omega naught t or j omega naught t that means here you are multiplying other frequency actual signal frequency is omega here if you are multiplying any frequency other than that omega then what will be the Fourier transform of your resultant signal. So, here the Fourier transform of this resultant signal will change to f of omega minus omega naught. So, for this I want to consider proof. So, this is property and I want to consider proof for this. You know that Fourier transform of any signal f of t or x of t is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity that signal multiplied with exponential e power j omega t dt. This is standard Fourier transform equation that you need to keep in mind throughout Fourier transforms. So, here this is the Fourier transform of any signal f of t. If you are given with x of t, then you need to write x of t. If you are given with f of t plus 1, you need to write that same signal. Whatever signal we want to calculate Fourier transform, you just put that signal here and you just take integration with multiplication with e power minus j omega t dt. That will become Fourier transform of that signal. So, here but we require Fourier transform of this one. That means we need to prove Fourier transform of this one is equivalent to this. This is f of omega actually. Fourier transform of f of t means f of omega. Always transform can be indicated with the capital letter and in terms of frequency. So, here if this is f of omega, we need to show the Fourier transform of this resultant signal is this. So, now I want to consider my LHS. That means Fourier transform of f of t into e power j omega naught t I want to consider here. If they are asking Fourier transform of this function in, in the place of function you need to replace this. That means integral minus infinity to infinity f of t into e power j omega naught t into e power minus j omega t dt remaining is same. So, only in the place of your signal you need to replace your resultant signal. So, here this is equivalent to minus infinity to infinity f of t. So, here you can observe e power j omega naught t into e power minus j omega t. In this you can take common of e power minus j into t. If you consider like this, so how much you will get omega minus omega naught t. You can see minus j omega t minus of minus plus e power plus j omega naught t dt. So, here you just compare this equation with standard Fourier transform equation. If your frequency is omega then you are writing like f of omega. If frequency is omega minus omega naught then you can write this as f of omega minus omega naught hence proved. So, Fourier transform of Fourier transform of f of t into e power j omega naught t will give you so f of omega minus omega naught. For example, if you consider e power minus j omega naught t then you will get omega plus omega naught. This is frequency shifting property. Now, where we can apply this property that is also very important where we can apply this property. For example, if you are asked to find out what is the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t. So, here you are asked to find out Fourier transform of cos omega naught t. Then how you will find Fourier transform of cos omega naught t? So, generally what we will do? We are going to substitute cos omega naught t here 
and we are integrating and we are going to get something or you are uh, shifting in terms of exponentials that exponentials you need to that means cos in terms of exponentials means e power plus theta plus e power minus theta divided minus j theta divided by 2 and that two exponentials you need to integrate separately and after that you need to make into del function or sine function or whatever it may be that will take so much time for you so here what i am doing is this cos omega naught t i am writing like e power j omega naught plus omega naught t plus e power minus j omega naught t divided by 2 so this one i am considering like 1 into e power j omega naught t 1 into e power minus j omega naught t so here as i am having uh, property uh, du by using duality property we already found what is the value or Fourier transform of 1. So, Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del of omega by using duality property in duality property we already done what is the Fourier transform of 1. So, Fourier transform of 1 from duality property is 2 pi del of omega. This is very standard shortcut or standard formula for Fourier transform of 1. So, always Fourier transform of 1 is equivalent to 2 pi del of omega. So, this you need to keep in mind. So, here I want to consider this as I know the Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del of omega. So, here if I consider Fourier transform on both sides here, then Fourier transform of cos omega naught t is equivalent to this 1 by 2 I am taking common here. Fourier transform of 1 into e power j omega naught t plus Fourier transform of 1 into e power minus j omega naught t. So, here you can apply this formula frequency shifting property. If Fourier transform of 1 is equivalent to something, then Fourier transform of 1 into exponential. Exponential means you are multiplying another frequency, frequency shifting property. So, here you know that Fourier transform of 1, that means Fourier transform of 1 you know, but 1 into exponential you can apply this property right in in place of f of t i am considering 1 if fourier transform of 1 is known 1 into e power j omega t become so in once transform you need to substitute that frequency you need to subtract that frequency that means 1 by 2 into 2 pi del of omega minus omega naught plus 2 pi del of omega plus omega naught that is it. You can see here. So, omega plus omega naught, omega minus omega naught. Why? Because I am just applying this property. If Fourier transform of 1 is 2 pi del of omega, then I can write by using frequency shifting property 1 into e power j omega naught t as 2 pi del of omega minus omega naught. In this transform, whatever transform is there in that transform we need to substitute minus omega naught whenever plus omega naught is there we need to substitute plus omega naught whenever minus omega naught is there just i am using that property so here two are going to cancel if you take common of two the two will be cancelled and here remaining you are having pi into del of omega minus omega naught plus del of omega plus omega naught. So, this is Fourier transform of your cos omega naught t. So, for cos omega naught t, what is the Fourier transform means? So, this is the Fourier transform of cos omega naught t by using frequency shifting property. You can see how simple this is. Just we substituted in the Fourier transform of 1. So, generally as a gate student, you need to know about all fundamental signal Fourier transform like 1, like cosine signal, like gate function, like uh, DC signal, unit step signal. That is why I given all that in this video series. 
so after calculating the fourier transforms the results you need to keep in mind as gate shortcuts that will directly come into your exam or you can take the reference of that equations like this so in duality property we solve the fourier transform of one that one fourier transform we use it here so by it will make simple so it will make a lengthy uh, expression or a lengthy process into a simple process so here this is cos omega naught t fourier transform like this way by using frequency shifting property you can solve so many problems but you need to think in this way if you can uh, any exponentials are there especially any exponentials are there then you just think about this property whether we can apply this property or not so like this here I, I can uh, multiply with 1 there is no change even though I multiplied with 1 there is no change but I am having for, uh, uh, Fourier transform of that one if I am having Fourier transform of 1 when that is multiplied with any exponential I can use frequency shifting property like this way you need to think to solve by using frequency shifting property in Fourier transforms.